We're in the final few minutes at Strikerland, and the score is still tied. But Laquito makes another break for goal. And he's fast as ever, 18 miles an hour. But if there's one man who can keep up with him, it's Twisting Tiger. 19 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour for Laquido. Oh, 21 for Tiger. From Laquido. But the ref says play on. Looks like you need a new lucky charm, bro. With Twisting Tiger on the ground, no one can catch Laquido. Goal! It's oh. one nil to the visitors. And there's Laquido's signature shirt up celebration. Can you believe that guy? Yeah, Laquido totally fouled you, Tiger. Just wait till next game. You're gonna own him. Oh, please. If you think you're gonna get lucky at the floating stadium, you're wrong. I'm always faster at home. Voila! Hmm. Too much fat, too much sauce, and too much food. I need the guys lean and mean for the return leg. Pfft. I am Jacques Cousteau, creator of culinary intrigue. I am not here to help people diet. Sorry, Jacques. Extreme circumstances call for extreme preparation. Isn't that right, boys? <laughs> Whoa, this is awesome, coach. Uh, what are we doing in here? Rough? No, oh, nah. Well, it's quite possible Hydro are the fastest team in the Super League because of their ingress to the greatest natural resistance training apparatus in the known universe. Um, uh, can you translate that for the average human? <laughs> and also for El Matador, please. Hydro train underwater. Exactly, Block. Water is a thousand times denser than air. Training in it will make playing on land seem like, well, actually running on air. Okay, let's see if underwater training has made you any faster on land. Fastest first. Yeah, look out, Liquido. Tiger, you hit 24 miles per hour last game. Let's see if you can beat that. Gotcha, coach. 20... Six. Unbelievable. Dude. Oh, man. And... The longer you train in water, the faster you'll be. We leave for the floating stadium in three days. Uh, back in the tank? Back in the tank. Seven years at ship school. Nine years at Bistro Bersanto. Six Michelin stars for this. What is this? It's what I call rice limage. Rice on a bit of more rice in the shape of your face. <laughs> Come on, coach. We've trained underwater the whole week. Can't we have some real food? Your training will count for nothing if you aren't lean and mean, boys. Yeah, coach. We're lean and you're mean. How about a deal? If we beat Hydra, we get to have an awesome feast right here on the way home. So, what do you say, coach? <sighs> sure. Yeah! <laughs> awesome. You ready to lose again? Don't be so sure, dude. Yeah, been doing some underwater training of our own. What? Did you practice in the bathtub? We train in the ocean right up until the game. 
That's why we're always faster at home. Tiger hit 28 miles an hour. Yeah, that's right. He'd beat you for pace anytime, any place. Oh, yeah? How about right now? On the bottom of the ocean. What? I don't know about this, guys. Next level underwater training? A chance to show Laquito up? Come, Come on, on, dude! dude. <sighs> Fine. Compact breathing apparatus? Air lasts for ages. Comms device built into your mask. Good for dissing. <gasps> Weight belt. Stops you from floating back up to the surface. Helpful. Years after all. You don't really have a choice. You've been thrown in the deep end. You see anything? Too far down. Man, worst FOMO ever. Ready to be school. <laughs> faster. What are you think of that, Liquido? Huh? Liquido? <laughs> huh? See a match day, bro. No! Wait, Liquido! How do I get this belt off? With my lucky charm. Mwah! <laughs> Tiger? <gasps> yeah! You weigh a ton, <sighs> dude! How do you get this thing off? You can't! Liquido set me up! There's only one key, and he has it! Ugh, that sea snake! Yeah, what was I thinking? We gotta tell Coach. No, 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 no! Don't need to bother him, dude! We'll totally find the key! Hmm, I don't know. Come on, we got this! <sighs> Fine. <laughs> You've heard of the Super League, right? Now, low in fat, low in amoeba acids, and low in taste as well, I give you Super Legumes. Uh, beans? Yeah, beans. All worth it when we beat Hydra, boys. Any luck? <sighs> No sign of the key. Or Liquido. Tiger? Uh, Jock! So, how's the celebration menu coming along? It will be one of the finest meals I have ever made. And definitely the finest meal any of you have eaten. Really? Like, what are you thinking? Uh, how about hot dogs, Jock? <laughs> of course! Yeah, you bet I want good to me. I would rather make the diet food. Stupid faulty chair. Uh, what a weak chair, right? I know what's going on here. Tiger. You haven't been sticking to the diet, have you? Uh, busted, Tiger. <laughs> Get back on track, Tiger. We need you in top form tomorrow. Too close. 
You guys said you'd get me out of this thing. Now do it. Telling coach. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, uh, oh no! This is bad. Uh, you must really feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. It isn't the weight of the world. It's Hydra's weight. Weren't you listening? <sighs> Sorry, guys. I've let everyone down. I was ready for this game, and now I'm useless. <sighs> Coach, we'll do whatever it takes to sort this out. Correct. You two are getting the toughest job on the pitch. Twisting Tiger's job. You're marking Liquido. Tiger, just because you're on the bench doesn't mean we don't need you 100% focused on this game. Sure, Coach. First health food, now. <clears throat> At dogs. I feel so ashamed. Hey, Mr. Chef, you open for business? <laughs> I am Jacques Cousteau. I serve kings, not peasants. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Game's about to start, and I gotta get my munch on. Yeah, we'll eat whatever. Prepare yourselves for the gourmet feast of a lifetime. Match day at the Floating Stadium. Oh boy, here we go, Brenda. Tiger versus Laquido, the battle of the speedsters. Uh, I don't think so, Mac. Uh, what is Coach thinking? He's put his fastest player on the bench. But, but, why? Super Strikers contain Liquido without twisting Tiger. Shakes immediately marks Liquido. But you don't need a speed tracker to know he's just not fast enough. Too soon, Brenda. Too soon. Now <laughs> North is on Liquido. Coach no. isn't giving Hydra an inch. Liquido's through on goal! What great last-ditch tackle from North Shaw! <laughs> this is a good start from Super Strikers. Shakes and North are making life tough for Liquido. I don't know if I can keep this up for 90 minutes. Maybe we don't have to. Follow my lead. Prepare to have your taste buds enlightened. Uh, you don't do hot dogs? You said you did anything I served. Yeah, but it's a soccer match, bud. You gotta make hot dogs. The hot dogs are for Super Strikers. If I give them to you, what would they eat? <laughs> Two hot dogs coming right up. We are well into the final third, and still no sign of Twisting Tiger. <laughs> wow, Liquido, you are fast. Huh. Don't you know it? Pity you don't have a chance to prove you're the fastest. Huh? Oh, Tiger did beat you on your underwater pitch. Uh, hello? I threw the underwater game? Sure you did, buddy. In a real race, I take Twisting Tiger any day. Oh, yeah? 
prove it. <laughs> right. You want me to give you the key. Nice try. But this game ain't for pride. It's for points. Super Striker's two-on-one strategy has caved in. And here comes Liquido's shirt-up celebration. Uh, or not. Huh? <gasps> How do I get this belt off? With my lucky charm. Coach, Liquido's signature celebration. He didn't do it. So? Put me on, and I'll find out. Can you even get close to Liquido with that belt on? One chance is all I need. <laughs> Hundreds of hot dogs, ready to roll! delicious! Two for me, please! <laughs> Thanks, man, gotta scram! Something big's happening! Good riddance to bad nourishment. Tell your friends, okay? Super Striker's substitution. Ah, finally! worked. <laughs> Guess we have final proof your charm isn't lucky, bro. You should worry about your own lucky charm. <gasps> what? Huh? Was Tiger wearing a weight belt? But that means... You think underwater training makes you fast? It's nothing compared to weight belt training. Charm always delivers. Hey, uh, do you think if I kiss that thing, I'd get more lucky? <laughs> <laughs> well done, Tiger. That was some plan. Now, unless I'm mistaken, it's time to chow down on some epic hot dogs! Woohoo! Take it down! Get your hot dogs here! The finest hot dogs ever created! Hey, isn't that our celebration meal? Now that's fast food. Jacques, what is going on here? I'm just giving the people what they want. And they wanted hot dogs! But what are we gonna eat? Finally, a five-star gourmet fist pit for Super League Kings. Bon appétit, Super Strikers. Uh, 
What is that? <laughs> Being the most refined of all of you, I love this gourmet food. Snails and fish eggs. Whoa! Coach, where are Tiger Shakes and North? Do you really think I'd let them join the feast after the stunt they pulled? Oh, shame. Poor guys. All right, Tiger! <laughs> Uh, but how? They ran out so fast. Not as fast as me. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, man! Watch out, man! Here I come, man! I like to say, man, man! It's me, Shakes. You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose in other people's business. Blargal, blargal. Blah, blah, blargal. Yes, brilliant. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Chipperson. My technovision glasses. The glasses you are wearing are the perfect training device. I can you own any player from any team in your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson, Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about this gun, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone. You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> you give me those glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. <gasps> or sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one-of-a-kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. They're so copyright protected, if I try to make another one, I'd have to sue myself. Hurry up, El Matador. Coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection. Ugh. Dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. What? They were handing them out for free on the plane. Uh, no they weren't. We got here on the striker jet. El Matador is the best player. He is the one all fans adore. El la 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 My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of Technovision magic, of course. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm looking great. <laughs> Gonna score lots of goals today. You a skunk! I'm getting out of here. The skunk. My glasses feel kind of weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map up Hello? our defensive response. Tony? We'll expecting tight defense around the goal. Nope, there. A staggered defense. Tony even lets Super Strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm. If I can't use the movie glasses, 
Maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's showtime! Technically, have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. <laughs> and we got just the man to make them pay. Right, El Matador? Hmm? El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We gotta be prepared for Technicali. Yeah, who knows what that madman Tony Verne is up to. Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. Oh. Hmm, what should I do for my first scene? El Matador! Can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um... Ponytail magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my good side. Ah, go! And cut. What a scene. John J. Johnson, <gasps> Jr.? What are you doing in my lab? Oh, nothing, Tony. Ew. What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. I'm out of door. I was wide open. Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, <laughs> what reporter, dude? That guy, right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? Mm -hmm. According to Pointless Gossip magazine, El Matador is showing all the signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh, yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys? Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, a skunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail Magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails were not a fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Uh, Shakes, you believe me, right? Uh, I... I uh... Fine! I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. All right, all right, we get it. That went well. I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. Huh? John J. Johnson Jr.? Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself, no matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh... The 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> you should tell that to Norshaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. Okay, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? 
Drama! El Matador, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm-mm. Drama, check. What else? Action! Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ninjas! What are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? What do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. C come back. Pfft, sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... Huh? Crazy. El Matador? Oh, sorry. This isn't over, El Matador. Your ponytail will be ours. <laughs> Shakes, and those evil ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador, I think you should look at this. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. The game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, Shakes, what am I gonna do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude, we have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on! I'm your friendly, super reliable, gold-getting strike partner. I'll be fine. <laughs> Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in Red Hot form, they'll be torn apart. So, Shakes, dude, what happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well... Hey, guys, yeah? what are you talking about? Yeah, uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador, it's showtime! And we're off! <laughs> Cheeky shakes! And highly effective! <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here! He's clean through! Huh? Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare! Shakes, back to you! Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man! It works! I'm a genius! Wide open, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh. Ooh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matadors failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about... Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, when did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? <laughs> but if El Marigo wasn't lying about the skull, then... John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail Magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, I've never heard of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. 
Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! Oh, oh yes! Much better! What have you done? It wasn't me. It was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now listen, El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back, defend your lead, and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk! Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. Oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. Hmm? What? Whoa. Uh, hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rules, Shakes. Uh... I'm calling my law. Oh. So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Vern swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Vern sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touched my glasses. You gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Oh! Technovision is meant to make him worse, not better! How about some special effects to liven things up? Nobody touches the glasses. Tail magazine. <laughs> That'll do. Back to me. Eat 
this, Fido! Amazing! Unbelievable! Unstoppable! What a performance! Hey, Brenda! Oh, not that those moves today are going straight to the highlights of the world! <laughs> That'll do it. Dude! That was like the craziest goal I've ever seen! Yeah, much better than being crazy. <laughs> Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Ah, uh, don't worry. It was Tony's fault. Are we gonna teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Teen Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. Get your high-tech augmented reality technoglasses right here! Uh, at least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss! I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. Oh, what is that smell? I <sighs> don't want to talk about it. You think you're going to be able to handle this, Shakes? Yeah. I've been working on a killer new move. The only thing you're going to hear from the Sultans fans is, No! How does Shakes do it? Ah! And what about you, Spenza? It's going to be difficult to chant louder than them. Ha! You're talking to a super fan, son. We're the loudest in the business. Ooh! Nico's in a promising position. The Sheik so wants the whole good, fans to make so even more good, noise. So That's good, even so possible. This noise is unbelievable, Mac. What? That's it. I'm calling the landlord. Man, we've got a lot of work to do. Miko, what happened out there, dude? We were ready. Prepared, but that sound. Come on, brother. You've played plenty of mega stadiums before. You cannot understand it until you are out there. Hmm. I've never seen Miko that spooked by, well, anything. That's why we're doing extra preparation to handle the Sultan's fans. Prof? You may be used to lifting uh, dumbbells, but today you will have to contend with decibels. What? Exactly. Decibels and watts are both ways to measure loudness. The first challenge when playing in front of a noisy crowd is communication. I've developed a series of uh, hand gestures to use on the pitch. Learn them all. Sure thing. Or rather... Your budgie has toothache? Uh, perhaps I need a little more time to learn them. All right, superfans. Our mission 
The Goliath. 200 restaurants, 130 shops, movie theaters, arcades, ice rink, petting zoo. I can't promise all of you will make Spencer! it long. Super friend. <laughs> uh, just getting the crew G'd up for the Sultan's game. Let's focus on out singing the Sultan's fans, not out shopping them, yeah? <laughs> all right, guys. I've got some awesome new chants to try out. But first, warm ups. One, two, three. <gasps> Okay, boys, you've learned the hand signals. Some of you have learned the hand signals. The second challenge when playing in front of a massive crowd is how you handle the noise. Come on, coach, the fans don't make that much difference. Pros like us have perfect concentration. What are we talking about again? According to my calculations, this should be... A perfect simulation of the Goliath! His new move. Is a hostile environment like the Goliath really the best place to try a new technique? Let's find out. What was that? We didn't even wake up Sandra. Again! And this time, make it count. Strikers, welcome to the Goliath. I have no doubt it will overwhelm you with its facilities. Food, clothes, accessories, cinemas, an ice rink, a petting zoo. Goliath has everything you could possibly want. And you, as my guests, can access it all with your very own personal GoPass. Whoa, thanks, oh, whoa. Hey. Whoa. Very kind of you, Shake. But the only thing we have time for right now is football. You taught him the hand gestures? The stadium is full of spiders? We gotta get out of here! Never mind. So, what do you think of the Goliath? Dude! I wanna live here! So many awesome things to check out! Well, this all-access go-pass might help. I will only use this mighty tool for the power of good. And maybe some snacks. It's go time. <laughs> Match day at Goliath Stadium. And I have to say, Super Strikers are looking cool as ice. Say it, you have to shout it in this stadium. All right, guys, let's show these Sultans fans how it's done. One, two, three. Super Strikers rule the pitch and we control the stands. Goliath cheers from hand and chance against the Super Fans. Spenza, where are you? <sighs> oh, go pass. How I love thee. Side. But I'm not gonna last 90 minutes. Oh! It 
It's go time. Super Strikers look to assert themselves early on. And so do their fans. You might as well admit to beat the balls and dancing past the skin. He's making shapes. And when he shoots, we'll keep her shape. I don't know what happened. I had that move down. Playing in front of all these fans is totally different to training. Maybe keep it simple next time, Shake Smart. Yeah, give the ball to the player with the perfect... Uh, concentration? That's the stuff. <laughs> ah, much better. <gasps> but I'm so late. Friends gonna be mad? Shortcut! <laughs> Go time! Huh? Hey, I thought this thing was all access! The home support blunted Super Striker's attack! Now, can they help Sultans take the lead? <laughs> Not if North Shaw can help it. Yeah, go to the south or the east or the west, but if you head north, you'll be dispossessed. Wow, the Super Strikers fans are really doing their part. But there's nothing compared to this whole crowd. That's like Sultans have a 12th player on the pitch. What are you doing here? What indeed? This area is off limits to to everyone. Everyone. Uh, go pass. <laughs> and don't come back ever. ever. Wow, pretty decisive first half, eh, Brenda? Yep. The team with the most fans wins. Miko was right. You really don't know what it's like till you're out there. I don't know, guys. There's something weird about that noise. That sounded like a million people, not 150,000. Yeah, uh, where are they hiding, Shakes? The ice rink? Oh, the petting zoo. Go passes. Uh, don't actually have mine on me. The Go Pass is the only way to access restricted areas. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Oh, man! Spencer! Uh -oh. Half time? Where were you? Uh, not sure exactly. This place is big. Endless corridors. Bottomless sodas. I'm sorry. I haven't been much of a super fan. But I promise to give 120% in the second half. Huh? Shakes? There's old yogurt in my tog bag. Go fetch the itching powder. You say potato, I say potato. I've got it. Something weird's going on here. Use the go-pass to investigate! 
Come on, friend. It's go time. Spenza, stop! What about your promise? Super Strikers need us now more than ever. Fran, being a super fan isn't just about what's in here or here. It's about what's going on in there. Okay, fine. Spenza PI, let's investigate. Hmm, but we need a way to get past those grouchy scientist peeps. Go time. Working. Uh, uh, and it was then that I realized E must equal MC squared. Yeah, happens to me all the time. Rebooting machine for second half. Power okay. Amplifiers warming up. One hundred and fifty thousand fans weren't enough, so the Sheik added a few million decibels right underneath the pitch. <laughs> no wonder Super Strikers can't handle the noise. We gotta shut this thing down somehow. I think I know how. You mean? It's go time. Game's about to restart. Let's see if Super Strikers can make more of an impression in the second half. Uh, unlikely, Mac. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse for the men in red, their fans desert them. Shakes, what did you say to Spenza? Whatever it was, I don't think he understood the hand signals. No ghouls and no fans. Can things get any worse for Super Strikers? There's the signal. That's a go, people. Super fans. Let's do this. <laughs> Perhaps all Super League teams should build themselves a bigger stadium, Mac. Hey, scientist peeps. You can't be in here. This area is off limits. We're not going anywhere till we shut down that machine. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Our decibel generator is made from titanium alloy. Titanium? It's practically indestructible. Practically. But we already know it's one weakness. Every machine's weakness. <laughs> Super fans, one, two, three, shoot! The Sultan's chanting, it just disappeared. I know, what happened? They did.
Even I know that hand signal. Come on, guys. Let's win this for the fans. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Now, how about the classic? Count us in, Spence. One, two, three, four. Super Striker! Super Striker! Membership, content. Ah, oh, never mind, just scored the goal. Super striker, super striker. Hard luck, Shay. Yeah, I heard you had a sound strategy. Pity it fizzed out. <sighs> <sighs> Thanks. And I have something for you, Shakes. Uh, what's this? Your go pass bill. Okay, the bus is leaving. Gotta go. What? Who buys a hundred and thirty sodas? <laughs> Great accuracy, boys. Yeah, looking good, Captain. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. good isn't good enough. Oh, come on, Coach. Coach, we're totally awesome! No? Take a look at this. Colonel Von Pushup, you just crushed Hydra in their home waters. How'd you do it? Johan Uber's marshalling into midfield was visionary. Thor's shooting was unstoppable. And no one can get past our newest weapon, the Mangler. <laughs> Are you confident you can execute the same against Super Strikers next week? The Fortress Stadium may be up in the mountains, but Super Strikers are going down. <sighs> this is Lena Long, Football 360, signing out. Warm and looking good. This is why I never pack light. Coach, uh, can we have our secret training mission somewhere warmer? I want you all ready for the extreme cold before we play at the Fortress Stadium. That's not gonna help us if we can't get past the Mangler. Dude's super scary. It's like he reacts before you even kick the ball. That's why we have this. A ball? This new plan of yours is pure genius, Coach. This isn't any ball. Whoa. It's GPS chipped for tracking speed, air pressure, and direction. If you can kick the ball harder than 100 miles an hour, you can beat the Mangler. Man, that's fast. Never stop believing. It is possible, Shakespeare. Right, guys? <laughs> Dot the spirit block. Arr. Roger? Super Strikers, this is your pilot speaking. Please fasten your seatbelts. We're in for an interesting landing. Ah! 
Attention, Iron Tank! This is your call speaking! Ah, we can hear you. We are right here, Colonel. Colonel, I have picked up a nearby GPS signal. All the way out here? Hmm. Directive, change course! Ah, directive understood. Smooth landing, hey boys? Man, too smooth. <laughs> Big Bo, your mangler for the afternoon. Sure thing. How's this? <laughs> Not bad. The rest of you, let's get to it. <laughs> Make it fast, Shakes. Sure thing, Coach. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> what? It's Super Strikers. What are they doing here? Directive Lippery! Of all the icebergs they could run into, it had to be ours? Blah, blah, blah. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Talking in code. Very clever. Colonel, the chipped object is moving. Directive, find the source of the signal. Already have. Let me see. A GPS ball? I think I know what Super Strikers are up to. Bond push up. If I'd known you were visiting, I would have tidied up. Well, considering we are here, how about a little friendly? You're on. Hmm. <laughs> Colonel, the ball reached 72 miles an hour. Ha! Takes more than that to beat the mangler. Shakes, man! Hands up! Yes! Colonel! Dancing Rasta beats the mangler! What? Directive! Get the ball! Directive understood. That was amazing, Captain. How did you do it? You won't believe what happened. I... Huh? Where's he off to? <gasps> the ball! Captain, wait! Prepare to disembark! 
Iceberg now. We're all taking a long, cold swim. Come on, Captain. Feelings are cold yet? I'm just getting warmed up, man. <laughs> Time to blow the lid on your mission. Guys, I know just how to wake him up. <gasps> oh, dude. Nope, he's out cold. Ah! Ah! Dude, you killed him. <gasps> Sorry, cold messes with our equipment all the time. Is he going to be okay, Doc? Your captain's had a serious shock to the system. His body isn't used to such extreme cold. Unfortunately, I can't say what will wake him up. He could be asleep for a few hours, or... Or... or what? Or... a very long time. Captain, when you awaken, you will be in this foreign place without the necessities of life. So I leave you this gift. The world's most powerful hairdryer. Technical difficulties? Yeah, water damage. Don't worry. Keeping our equipment running in this court has taught me that sometimes all you need is a little bit of improvisation. <laughs> Targets reacquired. Directive. Libri! The hair dryer trick works every time. How long will it take to dry out? Hmm, difficult to say, but I'll call you as soon as I can access the data. Directive! <gasps> Stay out! Stay out! Stay out! Stay out! I really hate the loudspeaker. Match day at the Fortress Stadium, Brenda, and the teams are warm enough. But without dancing Rasta, will Super Strikers be left out in the cold, Mac? Uh, is that what I think it is? Uh-huh. <laughs> you sure you didn't see how Rasta did that power kick? You were right there, brother. Heads up! The mist was too thick. I couldn't see. Huh. A frozen ball, a frozen captain, and a frozen brain. Great! Come on! There's nothing we can do about the ball right now, Shakes. Concentrate on the game. Some interesting team news, Mac. Dancing Rasta is out with a mystery injury. 
And even more strange, Thor isn't in Iron Tank's starting lineup, even though he's fit to play. And the battle begins! Twisting Tiger spins past Uber. Yon Eye! Yon Eye! Fantastic build-up by Super Strikers! Shades is in a promising position. Can he succeed where all the league's top strikers have failed? 100 miles an hour. Can he beat the Mangler? <laughs> That's half time. And Super Strikers are no nearer to beating the Mangler. Dancing Rasta! Dancing Rasta! Dan I guess they really do need Dancing Rasta, mm -hmm. Mac, but he's... he's nowhere to be seen. Yes! <laughs> Directive, move on target. Directive understood. Hello, Doc. Great news. Aussie data is still intact. Are you with the ball now? No. Why? Approaching target. I would take her after the ball. Don't worry. I'm right next door to... Don't even think about it. No! Directive! Get that ball! Give it up, man! As my doctor, I prescribe lots of rest. Captain, huh? you're okay. Oh, everyone's going to be so relieved. And you can tell us how you beat the Mangler. Sure. One ting do. Shoot, Captain. Who are you again? You knew that ball was our best shot, so you tried to steal it again. Yeah, well, it seemed easier than stealing Rasta. <laughs> well, you should have stolen Rasta. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome yeah. back, Rasta. Welcome back, dude! Great to meet you. Uh -huh. Oh, right. Shakes told me. We're teammates. This is a cruel disease. How can anyone forget me? I want to help you guys, but how can I be the captain of D Super Strikers? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> well, if anything's going to remind you who you are, it's this. Thanks, Shears. Shakesmon, eh? The real Rasta calls me Shakesmon. Well, he's not here right now, okay? The return of their captain, even from the sidelines, could be just the charm Super Strikers need. Well, he'd better work his magic soon, because Super Strikers are running out of time. Whoa. Ugh. <sighs> 
As the play intensifies, Johan Uber takes things a bit too far. You and your captain are as ineffective as each other. Shakespeare! It was one with just Shakespeare. What's he what's he saying? That's easy. It was downward pressure. Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. Their captain on ice. Super strikers are looking directionless. So, what's the plan? Stand on the ball. Uh, brilliant! Uh, no, wait. The exact opposite of that. Downward pressure, push down on the ball, and it'll shoot out like a rocket. Where do you get this crazy idea from? Dancing Rasta. Um, which dancing Rasta? He's back, El Matador. He called me Shakespeare. Ugh, guess we got nothing to lose. Except the game, right? Come on, Shakes and El Matador. Time's a ticking. Final chance of the game. <laughs> Team effort, as usual. Now come on, guys, let's go home. I've had enough of this cold. Hey, check it out. Direct view? Scrub! I really, really hate the loudspeaker. I guess Iron Tank's performance was really substandard. <laughs> Sir? Sir? You can't park here. Why not? Is this not a reasonable place to park? Reasonable? You're parked on the lawn! <laughs> Sorry! I can't be late for my big moment! Well, folks, we've had plenty of worthy winners, but now it's time for the number one prize. The big fish, the crown jewel, the golden boot! Ah, and just in time for my award. Nice of you to join us, El Matador. Yeah, only two hours late. Award ceremonies are so boring. Yep. Keep telling yourself that, Shakes. It'll make it easier for you when I win the golden boot. And the nominees are... Oh, here's my moment. Rihanna from Barca FC. El Matador from Super Strikers. Scarra from Invincible United. And Shakes from Super Strikers. And the winner... But I'm not gonna make it this easy for you next year. <laughs> Wouldn't expect any less, dude. Once again, your team carries you to the trophy. Well, maybe you should try to pass to your team once in a while. It really helps win those trophies. Please, look at them. If it was just you versus me, I'd win every time. Pity there isn't the biggest cheat award. Cause then, you would win every time. Wow, guys. Oh, guys. First, First Super, Super Strikers, Strikers won the league, league last season, and now this. I couldn't have done it without my team. You hear that? 
Uh, he couldn't have done it without me. Well, well anyway, anyway thanks, thanks everyone. everyone. Looking forward to an even bigger challenge next season. <laughs> Why wait till next season, Shakes? Mr. Shakes, what's this? Dear Shakes, Miss Altibu invites you to her private island for a soccer challenge like no other. Ah, oh, come on! You get the golden boot and the fancy golden letter? No fair. Mr. Matador. Now that's more like it. Dear El Matador, your car has been towed. Huh? Ah! You really thinking of going to that island, Shakes Ma? Well... It would be nice to do something different. But you're going to miss out on the end of season barbecue at Dancing Rasta's house. Relaxing in the sun. Listening to groovy tunes. And chowing down as much delicious grub as we can fit in our bellies. It is important to take a break, Ma. Don't worry. I'll be fine. What's that, Skara? Payback. Shortly, welcome to Altibo's Island. Whoa! Hi, Shakes! Ah! El Matador, what are you doing here? Eh, my invite must have got lost in the post. <laughs> Very funny, Shakes. <laughs> Shakes? Hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey what's, what's hey, happening, man. dude? Well, well, well. It's Mr. Golden Boot himself. I see you brought your babysitter shakes. <laughs> the only thing I sit on is chairs. And sometimes the ground when there are no chairs available. So what's this all about? I don't know. Haven't seen anyone since we got here. Huh, probably trying to sell us timeshare. Gentlemen. Hmm? I'm offering something much more exciting than that. The challenge of a lifetime. An idyllic tropical island converted into the ultimate testing ground for the ultimate footballers. Dribbling, balance, stamina. This is your chance to test your skills against your greatest opponents. Then, the last two standing will face off in the ultimate soccer showdown. And why should we play in your little tournament? Yeah, what's in it for us? A chance to find out which of you is truly the greatest player of your generation. But, if any of you aren't feeling up to the challenge, my planes are available to take you home. Yeah, why don't you losers go home and have a skinny frappadappuccino? I'll stay here and win. Not a chance, Skara. Oh, you gotta stay, Shakes. I'm gonna show everyone why I should have won the Golden Boot. All right, let's do this. I'm so sorry, El Matador. My tournament is for award winners only. Cruel fate! Why do you hate me? Why don't you just go and relax in the VIP lounge? Hmm. <sighs> There's a complimentary gift bag. Gift bag, eh? It will be mine! For the rest of you, destiny awaits. Good luck. I'll see you at the finish line. <laughs> if you survive that long. <laughs> Ready for some good old holiday fun, eh, Shakes? Yeah. Just wish I'd brought my swimming trunks. <sighs> ah, it's good to take a break from football, man. So, here's the game plan. No char, watch the rear. Rump is sizzling, Captain. Cool Joe, keep working them wings. Gotcha, brother. Twisting tiger, make some space in the center. Ah! Already on it. El Matador, you... El Matador? Where's El Matador? Probably running late. Again. Uh, 
Guys, you got to see this. This is the biggest TV I have ever seen in my whole life. It's a beautiful day, Klaus man. Why don't you come outside? But the television has 3D. Um, outside is 3D. Yeah, but does outside have a built-in built karaoke, karaoke function? function? La. <gasps> Run for your life, brothers. <laughs> Do not trip or slip or fumble when you rumble in the jungle. Oh, out the way, puny man child. Super strikers may have finished top of the log, but you know nothing of jungle combat. This pathetic island is like under 13 training at Iron Tank. Ah! Whoa. Intense, bros. Yeah, looks dangerous. <laughs> Race you. <laughs> Guys, the log! The Super Strike has finished top of the log. Yeah, we get it. No, the log! Ah, come on. No golden boot, no golden ticket. And now I can't even find the VIP lounge. This sucks. Oh. Station one. Almost through the rumble in the jungle. Excellent. Station two. The pillar thriller is uh, ready for action. Eh, those challenges are nothing compared to finding the VIP lounge. More like very impossible to find lounge. Scara, you jerk! Why did you take out Laquito? Yeah. yeah, most dishonorable. You losers can hold hands and sing Kumbaya, but I'm here to win. Uh, guys, we've got a problem. A big problem. Keep the ball up on the pillar thriller, and try not to fall. The drop's quite a killer. Huh? Did you guys hear that? Hear what? Exactly. That's a long way down. Hey! Over here! You ready to join the team? Just pass it! Chuck, don't! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we've been over this. I'm a bad, bad boy. Now, which one of you losers should I take out next? Bingo. Scara, sad to see you eliminated. Our audience was loving your rivalry with Shakes. Audience? What audience? <laughs> you were on my brand new reality show. Standing by. Soccer Island. Pillar Thriller. Scara fails, Shakes prevails. There are four superstars left. But only two will make it to the ball. Showdown, and only one will be crowned the king of Soccer Island. This whole thing is fake? I prefer the term scripted reality. 
Now, why don't you catch the rest of the show in the VIP lounge? And watch Shakes win? Yeah, right. I've had enough of Loser Island. Dudes, that looks so good. Oh, yum. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Not so fast. Just a few more minutes, man. I want this meat cooked to perfection. Guys, you gotta come see this. Hey, Klaus. How many times we gotta tell you, we're not gonna listen to you sing karaoke? No! You guys really gotta come see this! <sighs> Shakes is on TV! His big secret elite tournament is a celebrity reality show. <sighs> reality TV is so lame. It's all fake, you know? Totally scripted. Come on, guys. <laughs> the barbecue waits for no one. Yeah! yeah! Who is in hot enough form to make it to the Volcano Inflamo? An epic final showdown above scorching lava. Could watch for a few minutes. <laughs> is this the VIP lounge? Pouches seem comfy. Not sure about the weird decor, though. But no gift bag. Huh? Please, oh please. Uh, I'll never find the VIP lounge. Why even bothering? They won't let you in. You didn't win an award. Uh, yeah, except for the Super League trophy. Heard of that one? Whatever. Huh? What do we have here? Time to give you losers a dose of real reality. This party. Altivo, we found the source of the interference. Auxiliary control room three. Scara? I'll call security. No, I have a better idea. If there's one thing the audience loves more than a hero, it's a bad, bad villain. Volcano soccer, here we come. You know I'm not going easy on you, my friend. Wouldn't expect any less, dude. Shakes and Riano head for the final challenge, but they don't know that an evil force is at work. What? Scara? Dude! Told you it's all fake. Why would Scara be in the control room? If I can't win, no one will. <laughs> Some holiday this turned out to be, eh, Shakes? Don't worry. I got you, dude. I don't think so, my friend. It looks like I let you off easy again. No! Come on, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Show us. I guess this means Shakes has won it. All right, I'll admit it. This is kind of cool. For reality TV. Kind of cool? That's the most insane thing I've ever seen! Wow, it's like I can actually smell the smoke from the volcano. Oh, no, man! The barbecue! <laughs> okay, are we done here, Altivo? Riano's out. I'm the only one left. Huh? Game's changed, Shakes. Ah! Oh, no. oh, no. How did you get back into the tournament? Oh, wait. Let me guess. You cheated. Boo hoo! Pity there's no ref for you to winch to, no teammates to carry you, and no Super League rules to hide behind. Now we'll see who's really the best. He's a natural. 
Audience is waiting. Let's get the ball rolling. Cracking, shall we? <laughs> you lose, Shakes. No matter how many trophies you win, you'll always know that one on one, I'm the king. Deserves the golden boot. What are you talking about? Cheer, Sloan. None of this is real. You're on reality TV shakes. But not for much longer. <gasps> huh? <gasps> what? <gasps> shakes! If we're on TV, your ratings are about to take a dive. Huh? Still no VIP room? I just can't win. El Matador wins! How did he get up there? I don't know, Miss Altivo. He's supposed to be in the VIP room. They fought through the jungle, balanced above the abyss, held their nerve in the murky depths, and battled it out above a fiery volcano. But only one player had the skill, bravery, and stamina to become the first ever champion of Soccer Island. <laughs> I always knew I had it in me. <laughs> what is Soccer Island? All that planning, all that hard work. You can't control everything, Miss Altivo. It is reality TV. You're fired! You idiot! You let him win? He's not even supposed to be here! Why don't you complain to the ref? <gasps> all right. There isn't one. Shakes, dude. Shakes, dude. I'm glad you're all right, man. Me too, my friend. So what do you think of Soccer Island? Well, it's not every day I get to play on top of a volcano. Duh. You people make me want to puke. I'm going to the VIP lounge. This is a great honor. Now where's my gift bag? I won. But you didn't even have a golden ticket. What did I say? Fake. Maybe it's meant to be a twist ending? Yeah, the twist is we just wasted our afternoon. At least we still have the delicious food. Huh? No! 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 Reality TV sucks! Told you! Totally sucks, dudes. Hi, guys. Welcome to another Orion fan report, live from the Soccer Sphere. We have some pretty tough games coming up. First, Invincible United, then Super Strikers. But as always, in Coach Black we trust. What? What is that? been an alien fighting at a soccer stadium. A close encounter of the first kind. But is it legitimate? Impossible to tell. We need a man on the ground. Anyone know anything about football? Uh, that's the one with the ball, right? I've already identified the perfect candidate. He knows soccer. He has access to the stadium. And most importantly, he's a believer. Klaus, prepare to make contact. We've just witnessed the upset of the season, boys. 
Orion anticipated Invincible United's every move, predicted their every strategy, and dominated the scoreline. I know how they did it. Coach Black has been getting help. From aliens. This again? Uh, Klaus. I've watched this clip like 20 times. I'm telling you guys, it's real. There's no such thing as aliens. Those videos are just CGI. <laughs> Klaus has been spending way too much time on the bench, coach. If it isn't aliens, how did Orion know Invincible United's entire game plan? Coach Black obviously studied their previous games and learned their strategies. But what if he's done the same to us, Coach? Don't worry. I've developed two all-new, never-before-seen moves. It's of the utmost importance that we keep them top secret. That means no talking about them. I don't even want you to think about them. Because the aliens can read our brainwaves, right? Focus on these moves, not UFO sightings. Got it? Got it, coach. You'd think it was match day at the soccer sphere, but actually, Orion Stadium is now the world's newest alien sightings hotspot. Take me home, E.T. They live amongst us, man. The lights! They're coming for us! I'm now joined by Orion manager, Coach Black, live from his observatory on top of the soccer sphere. Coach Black, what do you make of these so-called UFO sightings? <laughs> the lads are merely a beautiful cosmic ray shower. Ha, huh. I bet his alien overlords told him to say that. Turn that thing off already. El Matador must go betty by. Your side destroyed Invincible United last week. Some people... Claim you were helped by, you know, these... these... Aliens? <laughs> that is priceless. <laughs> but seriously, my secret is just, uh, thorough preparation. Well, it seems like the sky is the limit for Orion. As for the UFOs, I'll leave that to the experts. The truth is totally out there, man. The lights! They're still coming for us! Why wouldn't they come to Earth? Huh? Who are you? We're a top secret organization of specialists. We search for and monitor alien activity on Earth. We're the first, second, middle, second last, and only line of defense. We are the National Extraterrestrial Reconnaissance Division. Oh, oh, oh. Ow! Ah. Ah. He always does this! The intention was for this to remain a clandestine operation, you dope! Sorry, guys. If it makes you feel any better, you put on a great show. Now, what do you guys want? We know you've been watching the lights of Orion footage. Of course. It's the most conclusive proof we are not alone. We're looking for someone who can find out the truth about the lights. Someone with access to the soccer sphere? We're looking for someone like you, Klaus. What? Me? An alien hunter? Ah, oh, I can't. What? what? Why not? We've got a big game coming up. I need to concentrate on our new... <gasps> not meant to talk about them. <gasps> not even meant to think about them. Sorry, I'm not your guy. Circles. I told you guys there were aliens here. Oh, please. There is a perfectly rational explanation for this. Yep. I made them. Huh? <gasps> no wonder you wanted me to keep quiet about the aliens. You're one of them. There's no way I was going to teach you the top secret. You know what? Then practice them at Orion's home stadium the day before the game. So I created the most private training facility in town. This is the last time you're going to see these moves, so pay attention. No peeking, defenders. We're going to test these moves on you guys. Move one uses the overlap to find space behind the defense.
Ain't getting past us, bro. I know. But El Matador will. Move two uses pace and passing to break through the opposition defense. Nice work, boys. You get all that? I may need you out there tomorrow. Yes, coach. There's no way Orion will see these moves coming. Haven't you watched that video enough? Beauty sleep required. Where is your rational explanation for this, El Matador? Ah, uh, that is just uh, Orion testing their floodlights. Floodlights coming from the sky? Well, it still makes more sense than aliens. You're so sure about it, let's go find out. Reports are streaming in. It's happening again. That's not all. Klaus is on the move, heading right for the stadium. Ha! I knew he couldn't resist the search for the truth. Wait, we're tracking Klaus? <gasps> you guys never tell me anything. Yeah, that's because you tell your mom all our secret information. No, I don't. Hmm. Klaus seems to have activated the camera on his Digitab. I should be able to access the feed. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Mom! You gotta see this! Oh, Super League legends, sneaking around like grave robbers. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Klaus? Huh? Am I dreaming? Only if you are dreaming about how right I was. Hey, is it just me, or are these lights following a pattern? a pattern, yeah? Definitely a sign of intelligent life. <laughs> Match day. On form Orion, take on the mighty Super Strikers. Here at the Soccer Sphere, it's come one, come all for alien enthusiasts. Although someone needs to tell them they're here to watch the football, not the skies. One man who will definitely be keeping his eyes on the game is Orion's coach, Black, still in his observatory. Yes, Lina. From up here, I have a perfect view of the galaxy and what's happening on the pitch. Hmm. hmm? The lights, <laughs> they're coming. <laughs> they take your brain waves. Wow. I didn't know crazy was contagious. What's gotten into you, El Matador? What? There's something inside me? Ah, oh, they laid their alien eggs inside of me! Oh, get them out! Get them out! <laughs> Ta 
Tell me, Klaus, where do you think El Matador got all these crazy ideas? You got to listen to me. The lights, they were... Say lights one more time. I dare you. As for you, I don't care if an alien invited you to a tea party. You're in the starting lineup. Game on! Super Strikers may be in good form, but they've never played against a team receiving help from out there. Oh, Mac, not you too. <laughs> I'm just getting into the spirit of things, Brenda. Almost as if they're getting help from... Don't you say it, Mac. Move one. Daring pass from Dancing Rasta. They obviously practiced that one in training. But Twisting Tigers run straight into a dead end. Oh, no, he hasn't. Ha -ha! Brilliant deception from Super Strikers. Wow. Heads up! <laughs> no way! Once again, Orion are just too good. How did Vader know? Last chance of the first half. Come on, dude. It's up to us. Okay, let's do it, Shakes. Huh? Ah! <laughs> <gasps> They're here! Aliens! <laughs> El Matador's certainly keen to get back to the locker room. Maybe he needs the toilet. <laughs> Phew! That was a close one. Huh? Coach! You can sub me, drop me from the team, make me wash everyone's dirty socks, but you have to listen to me about the lights. Ooh, fine. You have my attention. The lights I saw last night were chasing out the exact patterns of our secret moves. Even if I did believe you, how can you prove this? I recorded it all on my Digitab last night. But I dropped it. Face it, Klaus. You don't have proof because there's no such thing as aliens. <sighs> the truth is in here. What is this? National Extraterrestrial Reconnaissance Division at your service. And we are the nerd. Really? What are you guys doing here? We've been trying to contact you, man. Uh, last night in the cornfield? That was you? You scared the pants off me. Why did you dress like that? Uh, why wouldn't we dress like this? There's something you all need to see. Klaus, we accessed the video you recorded on your Digitab last night. Well, I never. Klaus is right. Those lights are following the exact patterns of our moves. And check this out. Beta? So that's how Orion knew our first secret move. But where are the lights coming from? Please don't say aliens. The truth is actually up there. You can try any secret move you want, but you won't stand a chance against Orion. Because I have reached new heights of football excellence! <laughs> In 
space, no one can hear you laugh. Huh? Uh, so where's Coach Black? <coughs> Observe. He was up in space the whole time. After surveilling your moves from his space station, he traced them out with the lights, teaching his players how to counter them. And the UFO hysteria was the perfect cover-up. I knew there was something weird about those interviews. <laughs> <sighs> Klaus, you have great intuition, both on and off the pitch. I should have trusted you more. Uh, sorry to ruin the moment, but how's knowing this gonna help us in the second half? Yeah, we only have one move left, and you know the cat's out of the bag on that one. Well, Coach Black doesn't know that we are onto him. What are you thinking, Klaus? I have an idea for another new move. With the score still deadlocked, Coach is making his first substitution. Strange decision. Klaus hasn't been on the first team for ages. Ah, hello, Mr. Snooper Striker. You were terrified of the lights last night, but you're about to find out how scary they really are. <laughs> Move to brothers, come on. <laughs> Just as expected. <laughs> You're watching. Shakes to Twisting Tiger. Back to Shakes. Huh? Another move, another failure. Orion saw the danger a mile away. Nowhere to go, Shakes. <laughs> huh? But Orion have left Klaus open in the middle. That's not move two. Follow Klaus. Follow Klaus. Follow Klaus! Brenda. No comment. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Wait, that means Super Strike is one, right? No idea. Yes! The one! Yeah! <laughs> I gotta call my mom! Yeah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> How did they do it? I hate them! I hate them! I... Self-destruct oh! mechanism activated. No! Yes, you have 20 seconds to enter the escape pod. Stupid ship! You have 10 seconds to enter the escape pod. Look, a shooting star! <laughs> Make a wish, bro. Ha, uh, it already came true. We won. We're into the final few minutes at the cauldron. Super Strikers are throwing everyone forward. They're desperate to find the equalizer. But Grimm's ghoulish defense is holding firm. If anyone can break through, it's El Matador. Super Strikers number 20 has done everything right today. Everything except score a goal, that is. Precision through ball from Dancing Rasta. Shakes draws the defense. It's an open goal! Woohoo! <laughs> Feel the beauty! Oh, oh, so embarrassing. Huh? El Matador was so busy celebrating, he didn't bother to check if the pool went in. Oh, this is not going to be good for his confidence.
It's over for me. Goodbye forever, soccer. Suck it up, bro. We all have a bad game now and then. Ah, you guys don't get it. I'm not special anymore. I'm just a regular player. Like the rest of you. Mm -hmm. uh, read some fan mail, dude. That'll cheer you up. Okay, man. I'll get on to that pronto. We'll see you at training, right? Yeah, yeah. See you there. De Los Santos, how confident are you feeling ahead of Azul's trip to Strikerland? Stopping Super Striker's attack is always a challenge, Lena. But I'm feeling up to the job. <laughs> <laughs> ah, show off. Well, he does have the stats to back the confidence. That's why we'll be playing with three strikers. Shakes, Klaus, and... Uh... Where is El Mando? Yeah, where is? I haven't good. seen him. He had better have a good reason. Hello, you've reached El Matador. I will be unavailable forever. Oh, uh, still this? Don't leave a message, and I won't get back to you. Goodbye. Still down about that miss, eh? Yep, moping at home. Huh. Well, there goes our three striker strategy, brothers. Hmm. Jakes, Klaus, come with me. I have a plan. El Matador's confidence has taken a major hit. I'm counting on you to get his mind right before the Azul game. I don't know, Coach. It's gonna take something big to get through to him. Whoa. Oh, oh. Welcome to our Football Technology Vault. I always wondered where you kept this stuff, Coach. So, we put on the robo suit, grab El Matador, and bring him back, right? <laughs> Not quite. Activate Narcissus Protocol. I had a state-of-the-art device created especially for this kind of situation. Ooh, what does it do? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Just find El Matador, press the button, and the device will do the rest. And I thought my place was untidy. Hmm. <gasps> hmm? Dear El Matador the Great, forget what everyone else says, that miss wasn't your fault. It was obviously a bad pass from Shakes. Hmm. Come join your real fans. We believe in you no matter what. He wouldn't have. He, he, he couldn't have. His hair dryer isn't here. He never goes anywhere without it! Oh, he did. I don't know, Coach. He's somewhere in the middle of nowhere. The Dory will get him back. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this baby does. Forget about the device, Klaus. We need to focus on getting El Matador back in time for the game. Hmm. It could be a fold-up helicopter. <gasps> or a hypnosis device. <gasps> Maybe it's a teleporter. A flux capacitor. A spaceship for ants. The world's smallest spotlight. A robotic homing pigeon. A Rubik's sphere. A gravity disruptor. VR projector. A trans-dimensional day spa. A silver snitch. A bright destroyer. A pokeball. Portable universe. Alien egg. Self-aware magic eight ball. <gasps> I have to know. Must find out what it does. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> ah. <gasps> Too close. Shakes is right. I have to focus on getting El Matador back in time. Back in time. House, we're here. Hmm? Gah! Where did he go?
Well, this is definitely the place. There's something fishy going on in there, Junior. Um, I'm looking for a friend. Uh, glasses, ponytail... There are many on board, but only one. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Watch out, Junior. Everyone in there is crazy. Last stop. Everybody off. Ugh. Get El Matador back in time. <gasps> the question isn't where am I, but when am I? Of course, a time machine. to find El Matador, but this is ridiculous. What? Okay, Shakes, activate the device and get El Matador out of here. Easy as... Klaus? Mm. Do not be alarmed by my strange clothes and futuristic haircut. I am a time traveler. Oh, great. Another crazy. I don't see anyone else here. First the ponytail guy, then the cheeky one with the spiky hair. The ponytail guy? Yes. The perfect place to get away from yourself. The past. Very clever, El Matador. Uh, where or when did the ponytail guy go? Rejoice! Our king is here! Feel the duty! Feel the duty! <laughs> Almost. It's feel the beauty! Duty! Beauty! Duty? Eh, close enough. See? We are your best fans! Huh? The shame! Ooh. Look! Ooh. He mocks the great one with this incorrect jersey number! What? This the only one in the shop. Mm. Come on, people. <laughs> Feel the duty? He's not worthy of the mighty El Matador. No. No. The team. No. 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 Fine. I didn't even want to be part of your stupid club anyway. Sheesh. Those people won't let me anywhere near El Matador. <sighs> Our king is bored and demands entertainment. Who will step up for the skills battle? Winner will be given one-on-one -on -one face time with El Matador himself. Yeah. Oh. Gotcha. My shirt! My glasses! My pants! My dignity! <laughs> Do any others challenge for an audience with the king? I do. Huh? <gasps> <laughs> there is only one explanation for this. All the El Matadors from every point in time have gathered here. But I need the real El Matador. Good luck, challengers! This guy knows his stuff. Uh, he's not 
one of us? Shakes? What are you doing here? You have to come back to strike a land, El Matador. We need three strikers to get past De Los Santos. Uh, I'm sorry, Shakes. My place is here now. My people need me. But Super Strikers are your people. Unworthy! Off the team! <laughs> El Matador, come on! Please! El Matador! I'm sorry, my friend, but this is best. For me and for Super Strikers. This one is big trouble. I don't want him coming back. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Let me... <sighs> Klaus! Thank goodness! Where did you go? I think you mean when did I go? Huh? What are you talking about? Well, it's obvious that El Matador is hiding in the past. That's why Coach gave us the time machine. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh, really? Well, what's your big theory then, Shakes? El Matador started a weird fan club consisting entirely of El Matador lookalikes and plans to rule them like a king. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Look, man, who they are or when they are isn't important. What matters is that we get El Matador back. Well, what are we waiting for? Or Raza? Don't say it, dude. When are we waiting for? Yeah. All right, people, one more time. From the top, feel the beauty. Feel the beauty. Uh, I give up. Hey, El Matador. Oh, feel the duty? We are here to take our El Matador back to the present and the future. Or is that back to the future which was the present? Huh? Get them! Let's find out what this thing really does. If you're watching this, you're in trouble. We all feel lost from time to time. Perhaps you have lost the keys to your Lamborghini. You might have lost your thoughts. It's in not a time machine? That happened. <laughs> you're Brilliant. The if only person El Matador listens to is himself, I mean, so Coach made an El Matador hologram to convince him to come back. Then it seems to be working on all of them. Or you're lost contemplating your own beauty. Perhaps you are lost in time, lost in space, and me. But remember, you are the greatest player of the age. Super Strikers need you because, like a Lamborghini, without the key, they just aren't as good. Come on. Come on. I don't wanna, 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 I don't wanna. Oh, crazy! You need to fulfill your destiny at Strikerland. Help me, El Matador. I am my only hope. You heard the glorious ponytailed leader? Super Strikers need us! Yeah! Yeah! Who's Striker Man? Man! Yeah! Hmm. You may have got me back to Striker Land, but I'm not playing. Hmm. You did use the hologram, right? It should have worked. We well, used it all right. Just not how you intended. What are you talking about? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you? The Azul fans are looking confident today, folks. Well, I would too if I had the mighty De Los Santos in goal. Odd, though, that Coach has opted to keep El Matador on the bench. Yeah, tough to see Super Strike is getting past Azul's keeper without it. Chance for Super Strikers. What a shot! But not enough to beat De Los Santos. Fun warm up. <laughs> when are we gonna start playing for real? Shakes and Klaus are giving it their all. But it's not enough. 
De Los Santos is just too good. I have an idea. It's an oldie, but a goodie. We're almost at the end of the first half. Can Shakes and Klaus finally get past De Los Santos? Shakes hits the post! And the ball goes straight to Klaus! Come on, Shakes. You beat me with that trick before. It's going to take much more than that to beat me again. Oh. Hate to say it, Coach, but this isn't working. Yeah, we need three strikers out there. We need El Mar Don't even say his name. I don't want to see any more of that guy. Coach? Uh, yeah, we may have accidentally played the hologram message to a bunch of crazy El Matador fans. <laughs> That's it. I'm calling security. Coach, hang on a minute. I think there's a way we can use this. People! I knew you'd come to get me. And that's not the only good news. Really? Yeah, we found your replacement. Ah! I always knew I had it in me to be the best El Matador ever. That's what you wanted, right? No, 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 Coach. These are just fans who adore Wonderful. me. Wonderful. With you on board, <laughs> Dela Santos has no chance. Hey, why don't we give him El Matador's locker? Oh, perfect. We even have the same number. Yeah, sounds yeah. good to me. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Mind, El Matador? No, not at all. Oh, in that case, we can give him your hair dryer too, right? He is the one on the pitch, man. His hair needs to look better than yours. Oh. That's it! There are plenty of people who look like me, but there is only one El Matador. Prove it. Huh? I'll put you on, but if you don't produce the goods, I'm going to replace you with the El Matador who really wants to be here today. Me, 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 me. Come on, my people. Let's go and beat the Azul. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> yeah. Halftime substitution for the Super Slakers. Coach brings on El Matador. We're well into the second half. Scorers are tight, and Super Strikers are on the attack again. But this time, they've <laughs> unleashed their full firepower. Brilliant build-up play. But it doesn't count for a thing if they can't get it past De Los Santos. Klaus shoots. De Los Santos saves. Shakes latches onto the rebound. De Los Santos saves again. But, but here comes El Matador. Oh, 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 what a completely unorthodox move from El Matador. And he's back. Feel the beauty. <laughs> El Matador really is one of a kind. Uh, someone needs to tell them that. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's good to be me. Yes, yes. Come on, come on. Huh? Oh, forget it. I'll get my fish from the supermarket. Come on. Uh, yeah, uh, come on. Uh. He's through the Nakama midfield, last chance before full time. He's through the Nakama midfield, last chance before full time. Shakes, aren't you bored of that game yet? Yeah, you clock it like every time you play. I don't know why you play that thing at all, brother. Why would you want to play fake football when you're going to jam the real thing against Nakama tomorrow? Super League 3000X is just like real soccer, Cool Joe. 
Sorry, Shakes. Games just don't impress me. The ball gets away from him. Missed opportunity. <laughs> It is kind of dated, but apparently the new version is going to be so good. Amazing graphics and super realistic sound effects. <gasps> oh, yeah. And the world's best players. Coming soon. Super League 4000X. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, Big XP feeling totally nerfed right now. <laughs> I'm Alex. I'm gonna motion capture your moves for SL4000X. Hi, Alex. I'm Shakes. Uber, cool. You want Um, it's Shakes, not Uber. Uh, Uber's from Iron Tank. Uh, it's an expression. Ah, uh, saws. Uh, uh, I mean, sorry. Sometimes I forget how people speak out there. You ready for the grand tour? Huh? <laughs> Yo, 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 it's Uncool Joe. Phew, is that a funny smell or is it just a ping pong? Table tennis to you, sucker. Uh, so I'm guessing you know each other? Hey guys, meet Chill John, world's number one ping pong player. Table tennis? Everything he knows about, well, everything really, he borrowed from yours truly. Police! I'm past those beginner techniques, sucker. I am the new king of spin. Your style is still cool, Joe. Your spin is thin. Huh. <coughs> We're starting. You guys coming? First up, it's the coders. Super intelligent brainiacs who build the games. The testers basically play games and eat chocolate the whole day. <laughs> cool. Where do I sign up? Here we have the sound studio. Real Super League players and coaches are contributing their voices to SL4000X. Yeah, good call. The sound effects in 3000 kind of sucked. Game over, you lose. <laughs> Game over, you lose. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, we're, we're getting there. Can you make it feel more summery, more sunny? What? This isn't the weather report. Don't worry. We're almost there. Take 346. Go. Uh, I give up. And finally, where the real magic happens. Super Strikers. The motion capture studio is where we capture every detail of your moves. Every detail, hey? <laughs> yes, yes, genius, fantastic. Do it again, but into the microphone this time, yeah? <sighs> Welcome to the Motion Capture Studio. The position and movement of the sensors on your suits are recorded by special cameras and the data is input into this computer. All right. Oh, I read. <laughs> oh, please, Alex. Don't be motion capturing this, okay? <laughs> Don't worry. The only thing I want to capture is all the classic Super Strikers moves. times I gotta tell you guys, video games just ain't my thing. But the game won't be the same without the four pillars of spin. I don't know, brother. Come on. 
All right, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? I, uh, um... It's not Cosplay Friday, is it? No. Oh, I feel like such a fool. Don't. You're rocking that look. Great costume. Uh, thanks. Hey, why don't we swap? Really? Really. Like, really, really? Really, really. Like, really! Get ready for the four pillars of spin. Left spin. Right spin. Back spin. How does he spin the ball like that? Unbelievable! Can't wait to see this stuff in gameplay. Top spin. I got this one, I got this one. Okay, you can have this one. Cool Joe! Your crosses are amazing! <laughs> Thanks, sister. And how do you guys know where the ball's gonna go? Practice makes perfect. Uh, more like practice and practice and practice makes perfect. SL4000X is gonna rock! You guys have been so much help! Yes. You've been so much help, Super Stikers. And there you have it. Cool Joe's four pillars of spin. Know them, spot them, intercept them. It will always be one of four. This is going to make Super Striker's head spin. <laughs> huh? Now I get the laugh right. It's Nakama versus Super Strikers live from Gashuku Stadium. These two famous rivals are equally matched. But if one player can make the difference, it's Cool Joe. The Crossing King! There's the cross. Shakes and El Matador are there. Can one of them get a touch? The what? Ooh, well read by Miko Chen. <laughs> Looks like Cool Joe just needs to kick to me next time. Yes? Hmm. Super Strikers try to regroup. But it's no use. Oh! Nakama take the first game. Seems the Crossing King has been dethroned. You lose, Super Strikers. <laughs> game over. You lose. <laughs> uh... Cool Joe? What? I think I know why Nakama can read your four spins. Oh, really? How? Urigiri was at the mocap studio yesterday. <laughs> Rewind there, brother. Urigiri was where? I'm sorry. I think he saw your moves. What did I tell you? All that digital juju, no emotion capture, wireless pfft, is no good, brother. Hey! Cool Joe, you need to think about what happens to my ego when I'm not scoring goals, man. And don't be so selfish, okay? Thanks for coming by. We're totally gonna get our revenge in the return match. How, Shakes? Urigiri saw all my moves. The four pillars of spin ain't secret anymore. Hey, look on the bright side, Cool Joe. It can't get any worse. <clears throat> yo, 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 yo. Don't worry. 
I already signed this one for ya. Paddle power? I saw Nakama shut you down, Kojo. Told you I'm the new king of spin. But don't worry, maybe you can learn a thing or two from my game. I got spin you can't even imagine. Ah! You like game shakes? Why not play ping pong till the new Super League game comes out? Table tennis, fool! Spin you can't even imagine, huh? Level one, your spin is thin. Level ten, sucker. Level 24, are you the next speed master? <laughs> Level 36, you got some moves, Slick. I knew I could do it. Oh. I gotta find Jill John. Oh, come on, Shakes. At least wash your hands. Thanks for the help, Alex. It's the least I can do after my noob mistake with a mocap. This is the place. But I don't know how we're gonna get in, especially considering you're friends with Cool Joe. Undercover, of course. Don't want to give the game away. Uh, didn't we already do that? About the corkscrew. Seriously, Cool Joe, there is a fifth spin, and I know how you can learn it. Please, Shakes, I've already learned my lesson. Why would I take your advice ever again? Listen to him, Cool Joe. Yeah, come on, we need you out there. Or I might not score any goals. Whatever. All Shakes has done the last few days is play paddle power. Yeah. That's kind of how I found out about the fifth spin. Video games, table tennis, chill John. These are a few of my least favorite things. The fifth spin exists. I developed it. Hm. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh. Huh. To help you learn the corkscrew extra fast, we're gonna mocap it and analyze it. Just like you would've Giri did with your moves. I guess if video games got us into this mess, video games can get us out. Uh, there's one other thing. Just like in Paddle Power, the corkscrew has to be unlocked. Really? I want to prove once and for all who's the best spinner of them all. Like I said, I don't play the pawn. Table tennis! Uh, need goals, Cool Joe. Do it for me. And the team also. All you have to do is get one point off him. That's the at Strikerland! Last week we saw these two teams aren't as evenly matched as they once were, Brenda. So, Coach has made a big change. Klaus is on the left wing, and Cool Joe is nowhere to be seen. Klaus is a fantastic 
Spiker. But filling the boots of the world's best left winger? Not gonna happen. None of four! <laughs> Another good laugh. Ah, <sighs> oh, man. Cool Joe's crosses make scoring easy. No, they don't. Okay, maybe they do a little. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure Cool Joe got that point by now. Uh. <sighs> yo, yo! Guy plays like a total badger. Come on, you scoundrel! Let him beat you! Just one point! No way, El Matador. I want to win fair and square. Oh, this is not the time for honor, Cool Joe. Forget your pride. Abandon your principles, man. No way. I have to embrace my principles. I'm no gamer like Shakes. I can't play table tennis like Chill John. I'm a footballer. Rocky Cool Joe! Joe. You can do it, Mom. You can do it! John, the number one spinner mm -hmm. is always the winner. Ha <laughs> <laughs> You oh, are a legend. Oh, yes. Oh, what a rally. Foot table tennis? Come on. Deal's a deal, brother. The second half is underway. Fantastic news for Super Strikers. Looks like Cool Joe's on the field and immediately into the action. Woohoo! Go Cool Joe! Even if Cool Joe can pull off the corkscrew, how do we know where it's gonna go? No practice and practice and practice, right? Yeah. And from what I've seen, the corkscrew has a mind of its own. What's the use, Cool Joe? We know all your spins. This is it. Fifth spin coming up. I hope. One of four. It's sailing into the danger area. But it's gone past everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was that? Oh, yeah! The number one spinner is always the winner. <sighs> I lose! Nice! Like dusk. We're keeping that one. <sighs> oh, man. SL4000X is beyond awesome. Got you again, Urigiri. <sighs> I lose! <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Yo, 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 yo. Aw, oh, Shakes, you still playing that old school SL4000X game? We're jamming our new hybrid Paddle Power versus Super League game. Spinner takes all. I just got it delivered from Alex. <laughs> Looks cool. Can I try? No way, man. I've only got to like level 41. In time, brother. In time. <laughs> Welcome to the 
Super League's roughest fixture. Invincible United versus Iron Tank. And today's showdown will be even more intense than usual. The winner gets a place in the Super League final. Super Strikers secured their spot last week and will no doubt be keeping a close eye on this game. Uh -huh. got that you right. got it. These guys suck. We would have scored four goals by now. Totally. Yeah. Please, dudes. The defenders are owning this game. Mm, defenders. Oh, you mean those guys I run past when I score the goals? The third goal. Automatic to take the throw in. Can United make something of this? I don't know, Mac. He's pretty far from the box. This is not good. from Invincible United, and it's all thanks to their new star man, Automatic! Yep, unless Super Strikers find a way to stop him, it'll be automatic victory for United in the final. Berserker, berserker, sir. Yep, we're totally done for. But you guys can stop anything in the air. Yeah, can't you just header it away? Headering ain't gonna help us against the long throw. Hey, what are you talking about? A cross or a corner needs height to get distance, but Automatic's throw comes in low and hard, <laughs> like a cannonball. The slightest touch from anyone, even your own defenders, and the ball's in the back of the net. Yep. Mm. Whoa. Like a cannonball, hey? I think I know someone who can help us. Virgo, Virgo. Yeah, coach. This heading guru may have helped Shakes, but defensive heading is totally different. Trust me, dudes. His methods are a little unusual. Power! His facilities are kind of low-tech. Accuracy! And he's really demanding. Guts! But when it comes to headers, no one's better than El Ariete, the battering ram. All right, all right. That training does sound kinda hardcore. Kinda? I'm the only player who ever passed. Shakes is right. If anyone can get you ready to face automatic, it's El Ariete. You have one week before the final. Make it count. Shakes, chances are this dude's waiting for us with a cannon. Uh -oh. All right, let's show El Ariete the Super Striker's defense is ready for anything. Strikers, welcome to header training. Have a complimentary gift bag. Uh, I was not ready for that. If you want to learn how to header, you must master three simple skills. First, power. <laughs> Accuracy. <laughs> and guts. Hello? Shakes, El Ariente's training is the worst. 
This place is a theme park, a tourist trap, a total gimmick. Are you sure it's the same El Ariete? Because the training I did was insane. Maybe you forwards just don't understand the meaning of real hardcore oh. training. If you don't believe me, just look in El Ariete's book of graduates. My name is the only one in there. <sighs> Whatever. Huh. We are just as hardcore as the Defenders. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to the day spa right now to get all these hardcore knots massaged out of my muscles. Yeah, good idea. I'm gonna ask him to make my hot heart treatment extra hot. Come on, dude. We've wasted enough time here. The real training? Come on. Shakes doesn't know what he's talking about. I mean, the dude thinks a jumping castle is hardcore. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. We look for the book. Where do you think El Ariente keeps it? If it even exists. And then we do 300 push-ups, wrestle a moose, and run up a mountain backwards. We are that hardcore. So, does that answer your question? Uh, no. I asked how North and Block plan to stop Automatic's throw-in. <laughs> Those slackers are relaxing in Ibiza. <gasps> Suspicious. There's no way Coach would give his defenders time off before the final. Doesn't matter, Vince. We've got him. We can't lose. Wrong. Automatic's throw is only the first step to guarantee our victory. And what step two? Sabotage, of course. Those slackers are relaxing in Ibiza. <gasps> so, what's in Ibiza? The battering ram. is more like it. is off limits. What are you doing here? Looking for the real header training. The one you gave Shakes? It is the same training Shakes got. Just in a safer, more controlled environment. We're about to face an unstoppable throw-in. We need the most hardcore header training there is. We need the battering ram. Sorry. That's just not me anymore. <sighs> Your training was so hardcore, only one player ever made it through. Now you hand out certificates to whoever shows up. Yep, was worth a shot. Hot shots! You want the real header training? You got it! Not bad, hot shots. news of Shake's training got out, everybody wanted lessons. And like you, they were very persistent. So eventually I gave them what they wanted. But I had already created my masterpiece. Something I thought I would never use.
The ultimate head craving. So, no one's passed this? Ha! No one's even seen it! Huh? Hey! I thought we were the first people to come down here. Those aren't people. They're your opponents. <laughs> Super League News Flash. I'm Rob Ross. Uh, guys. While North Shaw and Block have gone missing in the build-up to the final, Scar is so confident he's taking a holiday in Ibiza. Ha! That guy gives us hardcore for it's a bad name. I'll take a holiday when I'm dead. Yeah. Or if the weather's nice. Or if there's a sale on clothes. Guys, that isn't a holiday. It's sabotage. My machine will teach you to defend against this so-called unstoppable throw-in. If you hot shots are up to the job. I've never seen the battle score such an easy goal. Then start coaching, bro. What do we do? Stop behaving like defenders. Forget about the opposition. Attack the ball like a forward. No man marking? But that, that goes against everything we've ever learned. No risk. No reward. Aw, close. This sucks. Huh? <laughs> so, where's this famous heading coach? Don't know. He's taking the day off. Or maybe he's giving private lessons. <laughs> In time for the Super League fight. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, losers, but Invincible United are gonna finish top of the ladder this season. <laughs> Hot shots. Think we can make it? No risk, no reward. Uh, not exactly what I meant, but. Defenders finally show up. You guys aren't the only ones who did hardcore training. We walked on the hot pavement. Barefoot. And only waited 10 minutes after eating before taking a swim. And? Did you learn how to stop automatics throw? Yeah, turns out the trick is to attack the ball like a forward. Haha! <laughs> Told you guys forward for the most hardcore. Block and North may be able to stop automatic, but it'll take all of you to win the trophy. 
One, two, three, Super Striders! So I drop it, right? And I'm like, we're gonna finish top of the ladder, huh? That's why I have three steps to guarantee victory. Oh, yeah. And what's the third? Always have an ace up your sleeve. Okay, Mr. Buckethead. I have one last mission for you. <laughs> Welcome to the Super League Final. Invincible United versus Super Strikers. Great reception for both sides today. And great reception for me. <laughs> United must be the favorites here. Even the mighty Iron Tank had no answer for automatic throwing. Can Super Striker's defense do any better? <laughs> Game on! Easy to guess Invincible United's game plan. Yep, get the ball out. And into Automatic's deadly hands. Unusual positioning from North and Block. You need to mark a man. Yeah, that's what we thought. I hope you two know what you're doing. Mm. And there it is, the deadly long throw. A game, Brenda. Indeed. If it carries on like this, it's going to penalties. Ha! About time. All right, boys, stay sharp. Only three minutes more. Uh, guys. They're bringing their goalie forward? An extra man? This completely tips the balance in United's favor. But it does give us a chance to hit them on the counter. Yeah, if we can get back possession. And quickly, too. So, any ideas? Doggle doggle, bigger dog, bazaar. You sure, dude? That sounds super risky. No risk. Doggle blah. Last chance of the game. Will the goalie make the difference? Well, he seems to have Super Striker spooked. North and Block are finally marking United. And here's the run-up from Automatic. Oh! What a throw! What is Block doing? He sent the ball directly towards his own goal! What? Super Striker's planned that. <laughs> now that's risky. How fast can you run? Get back! Everyone, get back! Defenders and forwards are soft. Goalkeepers are the most hardcore. <laughs> hey! What's so funny? So much for your three-step plan, Vince. I never said there were only three steps. <sighs> really? What's next? If you can't beat them, join them. Who is it? What do you want? Oh, 
just some ex students. Burger, burger! Hot shots! That move was the riskiest thing I have ever seen. So, you gonna take your own advice and stick to real header training? No risk, no reward, right? Yes. My thoughts exactly. Welcome to Header Training! <laughs>